Hey everyone, welcome to Nerding IO. I'm JD, and today what we're going to go through is we're actually going to look at the beta of Google's Jewels, as well as how we can apply that to an open source project. So there's a bunch of different GitHub issues that are coming in on the NAND MCP client node. We're going to take Jewels and apply it to that. With that, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so Google I.O. Uh, announced this thing called Jules, uh, an uh, asynchronous coding agent. And I wanted to try this on the open source project I have for uh, any end MCP client node, just so it can kind of help with different bugs that seem to be popping up. And a perfect example of something that I thought would be good to try on was this uh, authentication uh, bug. So what's happening <clears throat> is that we're doing a split uh, because we wanted to be able to make multiple different ways of doing environment pairs. Problem is having comma uh, and spaces, specifically spaces, is uh, actually breaking the uh, when you need to write a barrier. So what we're going to do is fix this. Um, and focus more on the comma and keep like keeping the comma and keeping the new line um, and not have it do spaces. So uh, let's let's see how this will work. All right, so first things first, we're gonna have to connect our GitHub. So we'll go ahead and do that. All right, cool. And so now we're authenticated. Let's go ahead. It's gonna grab our information. Uh, I think I'm just gonna so we know we're in main. There's no PR. Uh, let's just take the information from here and see if this can help. All right, we're going to have it go ahead and allow the notifications, and we'll come back to this. So we're starting to see things come through. It's created a plan. Let's go ahead and take a look at what this plan looks like. It's going to auto approve. Uh, it's understanding the key, ensuring the commas. I mean, it's going through and it's finding all the other HTTP ones as well as the SSE. So, and it's also defining that it should write a test. So now it's auto approving the plan. Um, super impressed that it was it was able to go through and figure out like not only did we reference the uh, uh standard in standard out but we also it, it found the http streamable as well as the sse credentials all right so it's already starting to do some of the things we're just going to kind of look it's modifying the environment variable we kind of see the code inline and also see what it's trying to change over here uh, and it's going ahead and publishing the branch. So this is kind of interesting. I would have liked it to maybe catch the fact that this was an open PR, uh, but still we'll, we'll give it a shot. So let's kind of keep just looking through. So it's going through doing the, it got rid of the comma. Um, which I guess if you are doing the, may need to rethink that a little bit. So the reason I'm, I'm a little worried about that is I get the point of the comma, comma, but if you do need to pass an object, that would make sense. Um, but we also need to figure out if this is like going to break backward compatibility. Uh, but let's just at least go ahead and start with the publishing of the branch and we'll see what, uh, what this comes up with so far. Still pretty, pretty interesting. All right. So that actually came back pretty fast. We already have our branch. We'll go ahead and take a look at the branch. Um, ready to do a compare. I mean, look at this pretty awesome description. Also following uh, uh, any changes. 
And let's do closes. Provide create a pull request. Yeah, so far super interesting. I mean, definitely a way to, to kind of stay up on some of your bugs. If you already have either like an open source project, definitely see this helpful. I mean, even if you don't and you have like bugs flowing in, uh, you know, I, I think some cool enhancements to this, obviously some beta would be, can it pick up issues automatically? Could you have an integration to, um, to, uh, to like Jira or Notion or things like that. And obviously there's a daily limit, but still really interesting uh, to see that we can actually take a GitHub issue, bring it into our implementation of Jules, and have it just go out and program. Real quick, everyone, if you haven't already, please remember to like and subscribe. It helps more than you know. Also, if you're interested in joining a community, please sign up in the newsletter link below. With that, let's get back to it. So just going to continue on this. I noticed back in the actions, there's an error. So I actually also wired this up to code rabbit. Um, so getting, you know, getting some information from there. Well, actually, yeah, let's see if we have chalk strings, any tips. Uh, well, was more around chat and PR. Uh, but I did notice that it's failing on this uh, PR validation, validating pull request. So if we look at that action, uh, we can kind of see that there's uh, some declarations and to be defined in our uh, build. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take this and we'll go over here and see what it does uh, as far as running that test. And let's, uh, let's see what happens. So I keep pausing this just because uh, it's it's coming through, but this is really interesting. So we I, I pass through the issue. It's uh, going through and creating a new plan. It automatically went through. It's looking at now all the packages. It thinks it found a successful build. So that's pretty interesting, right? Like it's pulling it down. It's running it. It's making sure that it has TypeScript. Kind of going through the the process to to figure out the 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 build issues that it needs and uh, coming through. So we'll see where this goes. All right, so I keep pausing this uh, just to let it run. So let's take a look at what this did. It actually uh, defined a. Uh, recognizing that it, there's an issue with the test. So it's putting together a plan again. It's looking at the uh, replace the to be with to be defined. Uh, we're going to go ahead and see. And then it's going to submit the changes. So I also thought this was cool. I mean, again, it's pulling, it's pulling in the, your code and actually running it. Uh, so it's finding some build issues. It's going to uh, run through that. It actually did uh, did actually create a push for this. So let's go back to our branch and now we have two commits. So we have the first, the first commit, and then we have the, uh, declarations in our tests. So very cool. Um, let's see, oops, let's see here. Uh, if we have I mean, this is super cool. I love, I've been loving what uh, Code Rabbit's doing. So it's actually giving some sequence diagrams, doc headers. Okay, and now we have a passing, uh, all checks have passed. So yeah, this is looking good. We'll get this merged in. All right, that's it for us today, everyone. If you haven't already, please remember to like and subscribe. What we went through is the beta release of Jules how we can actually use that on a repository, and particularly, can we use that in our open source uh, solutions? With that, happy nerding.